Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Buddy Blackbeard here, and today I'm going to go over different ways for you to edit some of your photos and like edit like the faces and things like that. And we're going to go over the patch tool and the healing brush. And they're both good for uh, getting rid or cleaning up um, imperfections, as you can call them, in people's faces or in pictures. So I feel like there's a scratch in a picture or something like that. And I uh, might as well go over that now and I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing that I want to go over is called the patch tool. And you can find that over here on your toolbar. And if you click and hold on, on this uh, section here in the uh, sampling uh, tools, you get there's a spot healing brush healing brush so you'll see one of these icons but you want to use the patch tool which actually looks like a patch and you can see that the hotkey is J to uh, switch through these tools so what the patch tool does is you create a selection by drawing um, a line for example if I just draw a circle here it's going to create a selection for you made out of that. Now if you hold control and press D, it gets rid of the selection for you in case you mess up. But what you're going to do is make a selection and then you're going to drag the selection down to an area that actually uh, um, that has the same kind of texture and use that as your new um, source here where it's going to blend in with the rest of the pixels and try to remove the object. So. On this picture, um, this girl I know wears glasses because she's uh, one of my friends in real life, and you can see like the lines from where the glasses has been have been sitting on her face. So we're going to remove those so you can't really see them anymore. So what we're going to do is make a selection around these eye lines. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to try to get some of that uh, darkness that's around that area. And be careful when you're drawing it. Um, make sure it's pretty clean, clean and crisp. Uh, but it doesn't have to be um, the. It doesn't have to be like uh, perfect. So make sure you have a duplicate when you're doing this. You don't want to work on your background, as I've mentioned in uh, other tutorials. So make sure you have a duplicate of your uh, object. Click on it, and then go ahead and drag down to an area. That seems like it uh, has good texture or that matches where you want to put your uh, source. So I'm going to drag and let go. And I'm just going to click off. And then you can see how it removed that. Um, now there's still some darkness area around her, under, around her eye. Oops, I just clicked by accident. Um, that uh, needs to be fixed up. And I'll show you how to do that with a different tool. So let's get this side. I'm going to just draw and get as much as I can without getting too much All right, and drag down and usually when you're getting these eyes just going right below is a pretty good uh, idea so now you can see like the the uh, eye lines are gone and I'll do a quick there you go so that looks kinda weird when you do that but now we're gonna use another tool called the healing brush and what the healing brush allows you to do is correct small imperfections and uh, make them disappear into uh, the surrounding image. So it takes a sample of everything when you're doing it and it's kind of like a brush. So let's go back over here and change our tool to the healing brush. Now there's a spot healing brush and a healing brush. You just want the healing brush. And you get a brush here. Make sure you uh, go ahead and select your brush and the size and hardness and everything like that. It's the same as uh, any other kind of brush. Um, we've got our modes up here. We've got our blending modes. You can use those if you would like. And then we've got our source is going to be sampled. And what you need to do is take a sample out of the um, area that you want to replace this with. So hold down Alt and you'll get the little uh, crosshairs here or I think it's Option on the Mac. I always have to remember those. And click in the area you want to sample. So I'm going to do this cheek here because it has nice, uh, pretty decent skin tones. I'm going to start uh, making small paint strokes to try to remove and blend in some of the things so they look nice. Oops, that one was bad. Too long. So, I mean, let me get this little area here. So that looks pretty decent. 
let's uh, try to let's go over here and get this side. Let's take another sample, something like that. So that looks pretty good. So you got um, sampled here is up here in the options menu. Sampled is when you use your Alt key and then pick a sample. And then you got pattern here where you can select a pattern if you want. And um, uh, this is how it, <laughs> it goes if you have a pattern. So you would have to select a, a good looking kind of pattern, not just any one of these that Facebook has. Or not Facebook, my bad. Uh, Photoshop. Jeez. Now another option uh, that you kind of need to worry about is this uh, sample right here. It says current layer. You either got current layer, your current layer and below, which would be everything below it, and all layers. So depending on what you have around your image, so if you have something on top um, that you need to sample in with and everything like that, make your selection based on this. So current layer is just uh, the image that we have. And when you're working on faces, that's usually what you want to use. So the next uh, step that we would use to like uh, fix this up a little more is we're going to use our blur tool, which is right here. And we're just going to make some uh, make sure that our strength is down. I have it down to 25% here. And we're just going to move it along the face a little bit. Not a lot. You don't want to go too blurry or else you're obviously going to know that it's photoshopped. Now if we take a look at a before and after, we can see that we've taken out the lines and and uh, it helps out, makes makes them look younger and um, they probably like that more when you're doing your professional pictures. So let's head over back to the uh, patch tool and we'll take a look at some of those options. So up here we've got our uh, different modes here. We've got add, subtract, and then intersect. Now these modes um, pretty much deal with your selection. So um, you want to either. So if you need to uh, check what these kind of do, back in the beginning of the tutorial series, we go over these in the different selection tutorials. So if you need to check those out, they're right in the beginning. But pretty much it deals with your selection. So I'll just show you real quick. This is normal right here, the first one. So I go to normal and I made that selection. Now if I want to go to add here, I can add to that selection with the add. And if I, there's subtract, this is just a quick thing. I can subtract out part of the selections, as you can see there. So that's what, that's what these are. Then we got our patch here. We've got content aware and normal. And when you're working on a face, you just want to use the normal, but uh, content aware is used more for um, highly colorful and different contrasting colors and everything like that. It blends in things a lot better um, when they are different. But as you can see, the normal patch works pretty well. We've got our different um, options up here. The source and destination are opposite of each other. Source means when you uh, make a selection and you drag, it's going to take the uh, image information from where you drag as what's going to replace what's within the selection you made. So I'm going to go control D to go back. Um, control Z I mean. There we go. And destination is just the opposite. So this area that we have selected is going to replace what we dragged over here. So as you can see here I could drag it over the top of the eye and it pretty much does that. <laughs> Uh, transparent preserves transparency so like if she was cut out and I wanted to patch some things on the edge the patch tool is going to preserve the transparency that's on the edge and not like add some extra uh, blending on the edge so that's when you want to uh, have this checked so you can either check it or uncheck it so there's some techniques you can use when editing the face and when you're done you can go ahead and just uh, merge the layers or flatten the image so select both right click and hit merge layers and uh, there you go now you have a new edited uh, image so you can go ahead and you can work on more things you can um, to the image that I'll sh end up showing you guys later like you can use the patch tool over here on these uh, laugh lines and maybe you want to soften um, these lines over here by the cheeks it's up to you and what the um, what your client 
wants you to do and what they feel comfortable with changing. So thanks for watching this tutorial. That's all I'm going to talk about for the patch tool and the healing brush. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one, everyone.